Hey, this is Sam from FunkyPencil.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw this camera in two-point perspective. Check out the video. Okay, let's get straight to it. Oh, wait a minute. Coffee. Oh yeah, I needed that. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at this uh, camera in two point perspective. And uh, this is the thing here. It's a Fuji uh, camera, little digital camera. And we're gonna look at that in two point perspective. Uh, apologies for the dog barking in the background if you can hear him. He's, uh, I think he spotted something in the back garden. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is we need to establish our uh, horizon line for our two point perspective. Now, I've already mapped it out slightly underneath uh, this top sheet of paper here, the A4 sheet of paper. And what I'm gonna do is just draw on the uh, horizon line. Now, I can't find my pink ruler, so I've got the triangle instead. Starting from the top of the page, if you measure down about seven centimeters, and draw a horizontal line right the way across. Okay. Now, if you put a dot on the left hand side, and then working towards the right, measure 28 centimeters, which is about there. You call that VP1 over here on the left, and VP2 over here on the right. Okay, now we're gonna establish the, 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 the front edge of this camera here, we're out of the back edge, as you say, the one that's furthest away from us. We work in around 11 centimeters from VP1, which is about here. Draw a vertical line down, just make it nice and uh, quick and slick like that. And then, working from VP2 back the other way, about seven point, I think, I think I made it, yeah, around about seven, seven and a half centimeters. This will give you the edges that's closest to us. Another vertical line there. Incidentally, I'm using a Staedtler, Staedtler Mars, uh, normal, traditional HB pencil. So that's, uh, that's what I'm doing for my line work at the moment. Okay, now to get the top edge of the camera, we come down from the horizon line about 13, 13 millimeters, just about here. And then take your set square and draw yourself a perspective line going to VP1. Okay, measure down from that first line about 48 millimeters. Take your set square or your ruler, join VP1 to that point, and another line, and that gives us our front face of the camera. Now, I will say that because we're restricting the vanishing points to a, a small sheet of A4 paper, the camera's gonna be a little bit distorted, so don't, don't worry if it starts looking a little weird. Um, if you were to draw this with your vanishing points going further away up into the distance, then you've got a much more uh, well, I suppose realistic view of the camera, but it's going to be a little bit distorted. But that'll add um, to the extra, uh, <coughs> excuse me, add to the extra uh, uh, angle and um, uh, dynamic of the visual. Okay, so from VP2, we connect to that front face there, and just draw a small uh, vanishing line going up from that distance, and then to VP2 to the bottom edge of the camera. Another perspective line. Now, just rather than getting too bogged down with lots of measurements, that was just to establish the front face, we just pick up the camera and just hold it, and just hold it at an angle to yourself, just to kind of give you an idea of how the proportions are working out. Um, you can see that uh, from this, when we're looking at this corner here, uh, the depth of the camera, you know, is, is slightly foreshortening. So we'll just do the same thing in our view. We'll just just kind of pick a line roughly around here, 
if you really want to you know figure out what sort of measurement it is I would say no more than about 15 millimeters I've got it about 13 millimeters at the moment but you know 15 15 millimeters is fine let's move it to 15 okay now that is the back edge of the camera and then what we need to do then to get the back face is draw our perspective line back to VP1 which is here and then to find out uh, where the rear edge here goes back, we just connect VP2 to that front face. Okay, so now we've got a basic rectangle which the, the, the camera will sit in. Okay, so now the front face here, it's, it's actually thicker, as you can see, if I was to show that to the camera, you can see there, it's thicker at this section than it is at that section there. So we're going to just generally Put a line where we think the camera thickens out and it's just before it gets to this this bezel here around the lens so what we'll do and it's you know it's roughly around the halfway mark where it it, it changes direction and goes into a complete flat shape so what we'll do is we'll just pick the halfway mark of this front face for now and like in the previous videos to find the center of that front face we just join corner to corner and corner to corner where the two meet in the center, that's our halfway in, in, a, in a perspective point of view. Okay, so that gives our front face with, that's the bulgy out bit if you like, and this is the bit where the, the lens is gonna sit. Okay, now the lens sits slightly off center, if you like, to the, to the center line of this camera. It's actually slightly down from here, so We'll do the same thing accordingly. So rather than drawing a perspective line to that center point there, we'll drop down slightly to give our center line for that circle. Perspective line going up to VP1. And then, we, well, I think the best way we, 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 we can figure out how to draw this circle here is just to put it inside the shape. And I, I reckon a square would fit around that, that circle. Of the bezel so what we'll do here we just kind of guesstimate where that square will be we're going to be drawing the square in this area here so we'll draw that that line here which is this face of the camera this edge of the camera here and then the, this this particular edge of the camera will draw a line here okay now if we just kind of Guesstimate where that square, the shape of that square, put a line at the top. Again, going back to VP1, and this is the shape that our square is forming. Okay, now to, to we need to just draw a bit of a circle in, inside there, so it's going to look, look a little bit distorted, just bear that in mind. But again, to find the center, corner to corner. divide that up so now we have a square a square a square a square and then we just need to do a smooth radius which joins up within that circle there well, within that square box so we'll just sketch it in for now using the square as our guide we just sketch it in too much if it starts to look a little bit weird in shape but remember that uh, perspective view is, is distorting somewhat just generally just give a nice smooth circle there all to get in actual like an, an oval sort of shape okay that that shape that we've just drawn there is the outer line of that bezel now the bezel itself it angles to forward away from the camera so we'll uh, to a smaller circle so we're going to do the same thing again only this time we're going to offset the circle slightly so we'll just move the center of the circle over this way and we're going to draw another circle perspective line from the center that'll find us center for the next circle Probably going to get a little bit complicated here, which is why I like to overlay a lot. It stops uh, your eyes getting con too confused with too many lines on the paper. So uh, we'll 
just guesstimate where this other circle is. So there's there's the front edge of the inner circle, outer circle, I should say. There's the let's start again. That that's the back edge if we're looking at it from that circle, which is here. And then this edge here we'll we'll put around here. And then again we'll just draw in, looking at the camera as a bit of a guide, we'll draw in our next circle. And just slightly thicken up or dense densify, <laughs> if that's a word. Outer edge there. Helps if you use a softer pencil because then it's it, it doesn't fight fight where you want to put the actual lead. You know, you, it allows you to put the lead where you like it. Okay. So now we've got our bezel at the front there. We've got a smaller if you like a ring around where the lens comes out from the body of the camera so there's a bit of a there's a bit of a, a gap here between the edge of that bezel and where the lens starts so we'll just need to draw in you know just sketch it in this time no need to put any construction lines down just use your best eye to hand coordination there and just draw that in it's always difficult to actually draw um, perspective uh, ovals and I'm pretty certain that you can get tools that help you to do that but of course it's it's just good to practice for me okay so there's our inner circle from the bezel lens uh, where the lens sits now we're going to draw in the lens itself and uh, again just using your, your eye and proportion whether you look at the, you look at your object just make sure that it's in proportion. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. I think something went wrong with the camera. It cut out for some unknown reason. Uh, anyway, I've just put another memory card in, so let's continue. Right, so we were the last time we were looking at this, um, we were talking about drawing this, uh, this lens here. So what we'll do is, as it's a cylinder, and, it's, it, and if you were to take the cylinder on its own, it's vanishing off to this point here, VP2. We'll draw perspective line back to VP2, which is the top side of the cylinder, and then VP2 again to the bottom side. Just kiss that, uh, that edge there. Now it's, it is going to look very distorted when you when you see this because uh, again, you know, um, our perspective lines are, are very acute uh, rather than mean being uh, sort of they're more, more of an angle rather than. You know, slight, a slight, uh, shallower angle going off into the distance. So it's going to look a bit weird. But anyway, if we were to copy this oval shape here in front of it, picking up those two perspective lines. the shape that we end up with. We're going to draw in the, the inner shinier part of that lens there. Just move the camera out of the way. Um, slightly thicker as it comes towards your, your eye and slightly narrower as it moves away from you. And then we're going to pick up on the, the lens hole, if you like, which seems to be a small rectangle, slightly off center to uh, the circle that is the lens. Move that over there. So as it's the, as the plane of this here is vanishing off to VP1 on the left, that's the perspective lines that we'll use. So that's the middle of that circle or that oval, we want to come down just slightly from there. And that'll be the center of our of our lens hole. Then 
you just draw in a kind of a rectangle shape, just kind of copying what you're seeing on the camera. Keep looking at the shape of the camera. Just make sure everything's dropping in proportion. Okay. We've got a couple of radiuses on the actual lens there. Or actually chamfers. Yeah, we'll just draw those in. Because what we're going to do here after this is overlay uh, the fresh sheet of paper and just pick up on the lines that we need. There's a bit of a thickness to the material. What we can do here as well is just darken in to help us uh, figure out where the thickness is. Okay, that's great. So basically we have the inner circle and then we've got the outer circle which are here and then the square blue lens on. We've got the sides of the camera here and here and we've also got to the bezel. Now, looking at it again, I think uh, it looks slightly long, so we're just going to modify it slightly. So we're just going to come in slightly from that first edge that we drew, around about there. This gives it a better proportion. To VP2, draw that in. Okay, so now we're going to tackle this area of the camera where it, it bulges out to a thicker area. So we're basically going to thicken up this section of the camera. So if we just draw a line here and here, representing the thickness, which is across this way. So we're just pulling that line forward a little bit. Draw a line here. And then we just kind of radius in that shape. Sort of kisses the uh, the lens here. Okay, looking good. Now we've got some corner radiuses going on here, which we again we just draft those in freehand for now. And then we can add the detail of that. line on the bottom edge there. Slide radius here at the back. We've also got this chrome edge detail here which if you're looking at it it's it's divided in quite a few little areas here so but we're just going to pick up the essence of it just to begin with. Just drop in more or less where that edge is so that's it's lying on that sort of plane there. We'll just thicken it up a bit just to give it a bit of body and then just radius it off then close towards the top. Okay, let's go straight across the top here and there's a bit of a detail. We'll just put it to the camera straight across the top bit of detail where you've got the, the, the shutter and the on and off button here. So we just gotta draw that in. Going back to VP1 of course. And then we'll adjust where yeah, that's just looking at the camera. Bodges out slightly here. There's another one here. Now there is a slight thickness on the shutter button, so we'll just indicate that in that sort of way. Okay, there we do. Not only does it radius and or, or, or bulge out this way, but there's also radiuses happening in this direction as well as that direction. So we'll just for now we'll just we'll just to pick up where that radius is. We'll just draw a line slightly below the top of the camera. And also, it's on the bottom face as well. So, you won't really see it, but you can draw a line, just kind of 
tell you yourself, remind yourself that that's where the cameras are curving. Okay. Now, we've also got the flash here, which is lies on this plane, which is the narrow part of the camera, but it also the cutout sort of blends into the, the fatter part of the camera. So, just looking at the camera, we just uh, draw in a line here. It's slight towards the top. And also towards the that part of the camera here. There's a shapes out in this sort of fashion. A bit flash remaining in a rectangle. But this this suction the camera curves out like this. Small detail here. Alright. So we're looking good. Now the, the actual text Fujifilm is more or less on the center line or on the horizontal center line of the camera. So what we'll do is we'll just draw in a, a rectangle perspective line just to contain it. I don't know about you, but I hate drawing letters in perspective. So this is gonna be a good one. Okay, that's great. Just check, it, check over it again. We've got another couple of radius lines here as it moves towards the back of the camera and also it narrows down slightly as well. Remembering that uh, the first rectangle box or the rectangle box that we drew is is like the container for the camera. So uh, everything else we, we sort of draw we, we're actually adding in and shaping it. Okay. okay, so in the next video, I'm going to do an overlay and then we're going to use a pen and sharpen it up and then the video after that, we're going to drop in some render colors and uh, really bring this drawing to life. So check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel as well. Check out my other videos on there uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.